Hello again, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio and I have just made a huge error in judgment because I didn't find my glasses, but my glasses are still missing and I still need to use some paint, so we're going to take a chance and do it again. I like what I did the last time I did this and some things are wonderful about it. I have uh, Princeton Catalyst spatulas and I think I'm going to be using them because I want to add some solid areas of color or some solid areas of white, I should say. And then, and then possibly add some more things over them. So what I did that was dumb was uh, think that I had a, a bogus photograph on my camera when I was looking at the monitor and I erased a video. That's never happened before. Fortunately, it was just a, uh, a part three or a part four so I have some wonderful colors over to my edge, to my side, and I don't know if I want to add them into things or not. Maybe I don't. Maybe just what I'm doing is enough. This is white pearl, and I thought I wanted some really bright neon pink, which works very well with the white. And because this is an 18 by 24 inch canvas, it's well and truly in the way. So I think the places I wanted the pink that I saw when I was done are up in this direction. And being that I just put that paint down, I can still move it aside like I did recently with a spatula. And maybe what that means is I can also smooth it down if I'm very careful I won't lose too much of it. Because I decided what this needed was some bright pink. So we'll see how that works in a second. And what I also like, I seem to have two blacks. Why do I have two blacks? Goody, I did not get rid of my Prussian blue. And I gotta keep taking my tops and putting them to the edge. So do I like that already? Um, not yet. <laughs> but I'm going to just keep doing whatever makes me happy in the way of layers and trying to get myself to let go of the tops that are in my hand. I might be quiet because the last time I did this I tried to do it on the fly and uh, Gesundheit! <laughs> and I wasn't as impressed as I was hoping I was going to be with myself. Bless you! Not pollen season, I don't know what that could mean. So I've been playing today with some black and white and that's been working because the, the selling is great. I like this painting to begin with but I didn't like it enough to keep it so that became my issue. I found my Arteza Gold. All my tips are clogged and I promised myself that I would fix that and then I did not. So, I'm a little slower than I want to be. And I'd really like to get this right this time. Sometimes I feel like that would just be being inspired to use something that's handy, like a chain, preferably one Yeah, a little different texture is good for me. And because I use a neon folk art multi-surface purple. 
I need to put it on white in order to use it right. That way I have a very good chance of maintaining some of that color's integrity without it turning burgundy, which is its tendency. Yeah, I think I'm going to like the painting much more as a background color, background texture than what I had, even if it's a saga. You know, a lot of paintings turn out in 20 minutes, but a lot don't. And that's okay with me. If they have five stages. And I'm going to give myself a chance to have some fun with that. And really be pleased with what I have. Because I'm not much into settling these days. I have some other nice stuff going on down there. I think I'll just use the chain with the color in it to, to spread that around for the moment. I like that, so I'm not going to let that sit. But I have some... Yeah. And that, at least, is coming out. And that's a great color. I'm going to leave the top off that. Woohoo! I'm going to also wipe off my chain. And, because I like this, with the Prussian blue, I'm going to go ahead and try and cautiously not go too far overboard. Yeah, when did that ever happen? <laughs> I do love chain, and I, I don't mind giving myself permission to use it on something that I just couldn't quite get a hold of. You know what? I've never tried these two colors together, and now I'm going to. Not only am I going to, I think I'm going to try and bring some of it over there and see what happens. Ooh, they turn a beautiful shade of blue. Cool. Nice mix. I'm happy I did that. Alright, so I see that I have some black started here, but it's definitely not finished. Because the canvas is dry, things don't continuously make marks. They only go as far as the chain will allow them. So that's not hurting my feelings at all, and I think that's just going to continue to be the way it is. Probably turned that the wrong way up. I was thinking all day, third time's a charm, right? Yep, happy with that. Kind of want that to continue down there. That works. So maybe because I have that white there, I can keep some yellow. And maybe I can't. We'll see. But I think it's important to rinse off the chain. Yeah, I'm, I'm not good at writing off paintings, even if I've worked on them a bunch. I'm not going to... I'm not going to gesso over it and start again. But I am going to feel that it's a resource placed for my benefit right there use. I hope you can see all that. I'm not sure you can. I'm pretty sure that you can probably see it even less well. Yeah, I like my style of painting with the accidental art in the background sometimes very much, but this just didn't turn out to be something that I was in love with, so I 
I'm really okay with changing it up, especially after my accident a few minutes ago, erasing a video. Boo me. I like that right there. And I want even more of it. Enough so it will go right over the side. That's pretty cool. I think a little more turquoise up in that top corner and I'm getting close to being done. I kind of keep getting this flash on red. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Whoa, that is some red red. I believe that is an Arteza red. Holy. I like it when you accidentally get a mix of uh, colors you didn't expect and they look great together. I don't know if I dare use white there, but I do dare. I do dare. That sounds funny. I did think that brights would be a good thing for this artwork. And I'm so happy I went ahead and gave myself permission. And I like that red with that pink. The only thing left for me, in my opinion, is over here. She says that, and then she goes ahead and does something entirely different somewhere else, but that's a good thing right here. I needed something in there to add a little bit of depth, so that's pretty perfect. All right, right, let's. I'm going to lay my chain right into my paint in my silicone tray next to me and see what happens when I pull it out throw it on the canvas. I'll try and get my paint bottles out of the way. I like I like this orange, but I want it to be lighter. And I did just put paint on my chain. And I'm afraid that I'll make ooh I was going to say I'm afraid of making mud, but it's good mud. It's It's got colors in it. It's got great colors in it, actually. Let it rest for a second and deposit its colors. Wipe it off again before I try and go back in that yellow. And I, this is feeling incomplete to me down there. Let's see if that'll help. Maybe I'll just grab my gold. I've got some green gold with some purple in there. Yeah, the colors in my pan next to me. Are pretty neat. So I think I'm going to use them before they dry up and go away. But if you let it rest a minute or a second after you dip your chain it will deposit the paint. And I'm very happy with this, but that's bothering me, so I'm going to work on that. And I've got three minutes left to tell you everything I need to tell you, which is check out my new line of apparel, Teespring, which is the, which are the clothing you see under the, under, under the video. Hard time with my tongue today. Um, if you click on anything, it'll bring you to my store. And also, what's under there? Amazon, Amazon link <laughs> to help me out at no extra cost to you. And that's got my OXO omelet turning spatula and uh, 
my Princeton Art Catalyst tool spatulas, which are really both very handy to have and I recommend highly. You'll see them a lot in other videos. I did not expect to be using chain today at all, but it's good to listen to your muse, and when the muse speaks and you listen, sometimes good things happen. So, I'm back to over here again, and I've got blue that I like, and I'm, I feel like this is 100% improved for me, so I have no no remorse and no regrets about having given myself permission to go ahead. And add some colors via squeeze bottles. And utilize the beauty that was in the background already. It's nice when the paint is still wet enough so you can manipulate it. And it's nice as I learn how to do this, what colors work with, uh, with other colors. I'd like to do a chain pull and then just add colors like I just did and not chain pull them, but I'm not brave enough yet. I'm getting there. It's not like I didn't always do it that way before this. But that's cool. I'm pretty good. With all of this, stop moving chain. So if I don't have enough paint to slide something, I need to add some. And then, the timer's going to go off. There's over 330 videos, and all of them will pretty much tell you what my paint pouring recipe is in the below the dis below show more on the description underneath the video. And Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, excuse me, Facebook albums with wet and dry artworks. I may have a little bit of time. I like that pink there. I've had a really good time. I want to thank all my contributors for keeping me doing this. I'm really pleased with this. So what I had became a background and that's okay. Join the contest if you can find the studio tour in November. There are three paintings that the winner will have a choice of. I'm going to torch to get rid of the air bubbles in the paint. In spite of the fact that I can't see very much. That's one of the reasons I love doing this is because I don't need to see as well as I do if I'm going to be doing super detailed realistic work of portraits. Although my glasses aren't too bad. So we're not going to release any patterns in this paint because it's pretty thin and it's over dry already finished artwork. But I like the drama of what's going on here. I want to say thank you all for joining me and thank you for the comments. And I appreciate the 35,000 of you. And um, give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind because it helps me out very much. And I think I'm pretty well on my way to being extremely well pleased with this and calling it all good. So this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio. Deciding to have some yellow up there too. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to let it go where it wants to, even if it's at the very last second. Yes, that's good. Chains go in buckets. buckets. Buckets of paint water go into buckets of sand or dirt or something to filter it out. Don't put it in your pipes down your house because you'll be sorry. Yeah, I just needed that line to continue there even if it was with my finger. I'm good. Cool. And thank you for joining me again. And wow, you couldn't see all of that, but you could see most of it. Move it back this way. And I'll see you in the next video. Priscilla out.